Hello everyone, I'm Tom, the middle school librarian for Glen Ellen Public Library. This is Middle Squad, December edition. I'm going to recommend a book, graphic novel, talk about a magazine, share some fun facts, recommend a nonfiction, offer a fun challenge, and talk about an upcoming program and ways that you can be featured on our website. Stay tuned. The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series. This is book one, The Alchemist by Michael Scott. Book one of six, all six books are done. There is no waiting. If you've enjoyed Harry Potter and Percy Jackson, this series might be for you. Twins Josh and Sophie lead regular lives, but when they meet Nicholas Flamel, their lives turn topsy-turvy. They develop powers, they meet gods and goddesses of mythologies from so many different cultures, Roman, Greek, Chinese, Japanese, American Indian, Norse, and more. A mix of mystery, fantasy, sci-fi, action. Highly recommend this. This is Coral Reefs, Cities of the Ocean. This is under Science Comics. This is by Maris Wicks. Nonfiction doesn't have to be boring. I'll admit, sometimes I am hesitant reading nonfiction, but when it's done in a right way format, it's amazing. If you want to learn about coral reefs, here is a graphic novel. It is, it, you learn about plant life, the animals that live, you know, the, the fish that live in the sea. Well, they are considered animals. Uh, this is a great way for any reluctant reader. Oh, I don't want to learn. Oh, I want to learn about coral reefs, but not not just have a lot of text. Well, this has great. It's it's filled with uh, facts. What if I turn it the right way? But yeah, just it's it sort of reads almost uh, like fiction, but it's it's fun. It's factual and it's very visual. And this helps, this can help me a lot and you. And we have more, we have, this, is, this is under science comics, we have more topics. I can't stress. Yeah, you can read about something true, but in a great format. Let's not forget that graphic novels are a great way to convey information. So I highly recommend this graphic novel, Coral Reefs, Science Comics. As a reminder, we have magazines perfect for the middle school audience. This is Faces. Look at this cover, look at those birds. This is, uh, bird, bird is the word. Bird is the word. Let me read one, let me read some, some, some facts about birds. Birds ears are inside their heads. Could you imagine, so yeah, our ears, well, I mean, this is the outside of the ear, but yeah, you don't see, their ears don't look like this because they're on the inside of their heads. And bird brains are small, but inside the head, they're, they command, they're command central for a bird's many activities. Uh, one more, wings. Most bird wings have a curved airfoil shape. Air must move faster over the curved top. Air pressure above the wing becomes lower than that below, which provides lift. I know that's I would say a little sciencey, but that's essentially how birds fly. Look at this look at this great cross section of a bird and it just details all the different parts. Yep, I highly recommend. Yeah, this magazine is called Faces. So yeah, this is the newest issue. I'm gonna put this back so this is available to check out. If it's not there, check out some of the other issues of Faces or the other middle school magazines that are available. So I recommended a book series based off of different mythologies. It just makes sense. Well, I'll recommend this is Mythologica. Uh, it is written by Steve Kershaw and drawn by Victoria Topping. These are depictions of gods and goddesses from Greek and Roman mythology. And these are just absolutely beautiful. I will let the pictures speak for themselves. That's Prometheus. Mm-hmm. Look at that. And we have Pan. 
on. Look at the detail. Look at just the, the different colors. So our idea of gods and goddesses, they can be... Look at that. C Cassandra. Mm -hmm. Helen. Achilles. Oh, amazing. Again, see, the, our idea of gods and goddesses, you, that's one interpretation. This is a beautiful interpretation of how, of how they could look. I mean, they could look like however they want, but this book is bound to make you think about the gods and goddesses differently. And if this inspires you to create your own looks on them, more power to you. I this is an absolute wonderful, updated way of to look at mythology. For a fun channel to do, since it's December, what we're seeing a lot of calendars are coming out for the next year. Calendars, calendars are great. It's a, it's a reminder of future dates to come, how to plan, and they come in a variety. This is Yosemite. I mean, there's cats, there's dragons, there's cities. But how cool to repurpose a calendar and make it a little bit more personal and maybe send it to friends and family? What am I talking about? Okay, so here's January, okay? So I made, here we go. So I made a copy of that I made a copy of January. So now I'm gonna fill I'm gonna fill it in with with certain fun dates. Now what I did, I added certain dates and highlighted them. Here's like on the 19th, okay, library visit. Oh, it's Aunt Jane's birthday. And on the seventh, New Year, New Journal Library Program. Yeah. So you could put anything in this. A dog's birthday, someone else's birthday, you're going on a trip. You need to watch a certain TV show on this day. Put in whatever you want. I cannot stress I am not the greatest artist. So I just put on a, re I recycled this. Nothing wrong with recycling paper. If you can, I'm all for it. Snow time is fun time. I just drew a snowman and I glue, uh, got a glue stick or, or glue, however, or tape will work. I just glued it to the back of the calendar. So you can, you can do this for yourself or you can send this to a family member or a friend. Send this right before, so this is January. I would send this, yeah, before, well, before January. And how cool to get, to get like just a calendar of, of events just to remind people. You can eat, hey, when it's your birthday, send this out. <laughs> send this out so you can remind, hey, just a reminder. Don't forget me, it's my birthday. Yeah, but this is a great way to repurpose, repurpose, well, just re rework calendars. Make it, make it your own, make it personal, and you can share it. I'm going to show you how easy it is to fill out a form if you want to review a book, a movie, or something else. I would love to hear your opinion. You fill out this form, and I'm gonna feature it in the middle file. And if you personally want to be featured in the middle file, you can talk about your likes, your dislikes, your dreams. There's another form to fill out. Super easy, will take a minute or two. I'm gonna show you how. Okay, I'm on our website, geppel.org. We're gonna click on middle school. You just scroll down. Okay, come on, let's, it's thinking, okay. So under write a review, look at this. Just fill out your name, school, grade, what are you reviewing, book, movie, or more, and just fill, it, fill this out, amazing. This won't take no time at all. If you wanna be featured as a middle school marvel, okay, the form looks similar but a little bit different. Fill out your name, school, grade, and here are some questions that I ask. What is your favorite or least favorite food? What's a book, movie, or TV show that you recommend? What is one of your favorite family memories? 
just fill this out. Yeah, I get we I get to know a little bit more about you, and so does the community. It would be great to hear from you. So please fill this out. Okay, on this calendar, I mentioned, look at this, January 7th, new year, new journal. So on that day, 4 o'clock, I'm going to talk about ways to start a journal. If you have a journal, just ways that you can, just other ways that you can write. How you can spice it up. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to make it really interesting. So please go to our website gepl.org and sign up because it's gonna it's in less than a month can you believe that wow thanks so much for tuning in to middle squad december edition don't be afraid to share this video i would appreciate it if you want to know more information always visit our website geppel.org if you want to reach out to me please for recommendations any questions you want about middle school, there is my email address, tmalinowski at gepl.org. Thanks for tuning in. Wishing everyone happy holidays.